This is a Zemex Ico vintage Japanese refractor, 60 millimeter. The reason 60 millimeter is important is that 60 millimeter is the uh, maximum that you can actually see a very good iris disc when you're observing the stars, those ringed patterns that I've described. And uh, what you will see with these telescopes are really good quality. And because it's a longer refractor, the F number is larger, so you don't have principally much uh, chromatic aberration, although the, the lens is not apochromatic, it's just double uh, achromatic. The telescope is really good. The only problem here is that I have to repair this. I put a, a strap here to connect this tray to this leg. The rest of it, it has a, a diagonal, it has a, a erect image viewfinder, borrow lens. Uh, this lens is a Japanese, it's a Huygens 20 millimeter. The, there is another one, four millimeter and nine millimeter ones. And the viewfinder is impressive. Uh, I built a lens cap for it, but there is no lens cap on this. And the view, I must say, that is good. It's good. It's impressive. Better than what I thought. Okay, this is the only 60 millimeter telescope that I have. Um, the mount of it is really impressive. What is impressive is the mount. And it has this uh, declination and uh, other adjustments. Really impressive and three proper um, tension bars just to tension the screws just to adjust the viewfinder the mount is at the edge of being portable and uh, or difficult so it is really nice in that sense butter smooth the movements really good and smooth as you can see quite easy to move it around I have to focus it, but I'm just holding the camera against the lens. Uh, 